Hi, we're going to start in just a moment. So if everyone wants to find a seat and settle in, I see we have some folks coming in. We have a lot of manuals. We have a lot of things <laughs> to cover today. And I know many of you have come with questions. <laughs> in fact, I just heard from one institution that said they were up late into the night making sure they get all their questions down. So I think we're going to have a very busy session. Um, and I do want to assure everyone that we, I will be able to stick around afterwards to answer any questions. Um, and I think other staff members will be, be available also. Um, so welcome. Uh, we're very happy to have all of you here with us today. Uh, this is something that way back in February, I was talking to Kim from the LMO Colleges at TARE. There she is, who is saying, you know, <laughs> I'm new in this position, and we're really trying to you know, make sure that we understand the, the manuals and everyone on staff is on the same page. And we'd love if you could do some training. Uh, and we, I started thinking about it and thinking about when would be the best time. And I thought, well, everyone you know, lots of people come to Austin for TACRO in the summer, and as it turns out, there's this afternoon in between the, the two meetings uh, that was open, so we thought we'd give this a try and, and really kind of dig in as much as we can to all the manuals in three hours. Uh, in the past, we've done trainings on specific manuals, um, so this will be something new, at least in the, in the time I've been at the coordinating board, to try to do something broad, but for both experienced as well as new reports reporting officials and, and IR folks. Um, so we're going to see how this works. As I said, this is new. We are also taping this. Uh, we have lots of folks listening in from home as well. Um, so we are hoping that we will have some tapes when this is over that we can post online and maybe parse them out by report so that if you had some, if you had some questions about the aid or wanted to listen again to something was said, you could go back and find the section on the 008 that was discussed and just listen to that. So that's our hopes. We've, we've been told we should be able to do that to break up the manuals. I would imagine we'll have lots of questions going through. Um, what we've decided to do, everyone should have an agenda that they picked up on the way in. You can see that lots of, lots of manuals. Um, and we also um, did print out those, uh, the record layout for the, the, the layouts for each one so that if you wanted to you know, have a little reminder of a question, it's obviously too much to print out all the manuals for everyone, but we thought that would be a useful thing for folks to have. Um, and because people are finishing up with the university TACRO section and they're probably on their way home and new people are coming in from the CTC meeting, we've put the health related and university reports first. Um, there might be some crossover. You might learn something, but just be aware of what report we're talking about. Then we're going to move into end of semester reports. Um, in the middle section, we'll talk about the eight. Uh, I am going to be, and, and Doug Parker is going to be doing most of the morning session, I mean, I'm sorry, most of the early session on the health related and the university reports. Uh, Paul Turcotte is going to be talking about the eight. I am going to jump in and talk about the double OS and the 002, so kind of that middle section will focus on end of semester reports. And we're, because those reports are similar across institution types, we're gonna, I'm going to cover uh, them just once uh, rather than have you know, a time for the university and time for the CTCs. Uh, once we're done with that third section on the end of semester reports, then the university folks are welcome to leave if they want to, or they can stick around for questions. Uh, and then we'll move into the CTC. So as we were practicing and getting ready for this, we at one point thought, let's get through it and then have questions at the end of each of these four major segments. Uh, but then it seemed like we were going to have time to, to ha answer questions as we go through. So we're going to start that way, allow you to answer questions as we go through, report by report. And then uh, if it seems like we're going too slowly, then we might have to say, let's get through the material and jump into questions at the end of the, the larger segments. But I think it might be best as you're thinking about things and hearing things to, to take questions as we, as we go along. So that's our plan for now. Um, I guess I should introduce myself. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Julie Eklund. I am currently serving as Interim Assistant Commissioner in the Division of Strategic Planning and Funding, and I've been there for, it'll be 10 years now in August. Uh, we have several staff members who are going to be presenting. We've got them up on the board, and uh, we will introduce them as we, as we move along. And we also have staff members who work in the Education Data Center uh, or in the division who have joined us for the training. And I want to just take a minute to introduce them. Um, and Doug, I don't know if you want to come introduce 
we'll let Doug introduce his, his folks, but I did want to introduce uh, Mr. Bill Abasolo, who has just joined the division as the Director of Strategic Planning and Analysis, um, and he, we're very happy to have him with us. He's been with us about six weeks, and he is our, yes, so he is a new, new in the division, and many of you will be hearing from him moving forward. He may be the one up in presenting this type of thing with Doug uh, uh, as we move on. Uh, and also, I'm trying to, I guess most of the rest of the folks are your folks, so I'll let you just. Okay. Uh, well, up, up here we've got Anissa Wagner. She's going to be giving us uh, a talk on the Community College CBM09 a little bit later. Uh, we've got Crystal Mooney helping us with the uh, our PowerPoint slides. Uh, Tanya Trevino on the microphone there. <laughs> Torsha Bunton on the other microphone. Um, Oh, and Do we I have didn't, anybody else? I didn't mention Jana. So Jana Cosser, yeah, yeah, who, sure. sorry about that, is a very important person uh, who works on the CBM 002 uh, and data on that. So she's she is the person who is going to be taking uh, questions. So folks in the field want uh, folks who are listening from their institutions want to send in questions. We're going to have an email address for her. I don't know if it's up there yet, but we'll have her email so you can send her questions uh, during during the session, and we'll we'll make sure to to get to those. Um, if, if we can. If we run out of time, we'll make sure to get back to people via email. Um, so am I missing any? Uh, yeah, Doug's going to Doug's gonna sit back. He's got a lot. He's going to be talking for a while. So he's going to sit back on the dais. Uh, and I'm j I think those are the main administrative things that we want to handle. Um, we will take it as it goes in terms of a break. I'm thinking we have an awful lot to cover, so the best thing might be to just feel free to get up and take a break if you need one. Uh, if you could just try to do so quietly. The restrooms are in the hall right out here, so you can go out through the back, and they're in the center, right in the center of that hallway where you entered. Um, so, And we do have a little break room that has sodas. You can use a credit card. That's right at the front of the hall. Right before you get to the double doors, if you go to the right, if you're heading towards the front of the building, there's a room where you can get a soda and just, we have a, it's a self-pay, you can just use a credit card to pay. So again, if you need to get up, feel free. If we feel like we're making, we're making good time, we'll go ahead and we'll take a break for everyone, but otherwise we, we do want to try to get through, uh, get through the material. Um, so I think with that said, I'm going to turn it over to Doug Parker, who's the director of our Education Data Center. Doug has been at the coordinating board for are we up to 30 yet? Almost. Almost? Almost 30 years. So he has been working with CBM data for a long time and has a, a great deal of expertise. I know he spends a lot of time working with all of you in the field, and we very much appreciate the time that he, that he spends. So uh, we're happy to have him here to begin our, begin our training. Thank you. <laughs> 